Hello, welcome to your latest update from the Met Office. Last weekend was all about warm sunshine. This weekend, well, it's going to start at least very differently indeed. Wet and windy weather for most places. Thanks to Storm Hannah, an area of low pressure named by Met Aaron because that's where the strongest winds will be across the Republic of Ireland. Still going to bring the UK some wet and windy weather too. There is the low pressure system heading its way right across the UK, but the tightest packed isobars are across the southern portions through parts of England and Wales. Not just about the uh, winds, there'll be some heavy rain too. The uh, rain spiraling across most places overnight. The brighter colours there, some quite heavy downpours, particularly for Northern Ireland, also parts of Wales and northwest England. With the winds picking up, it won't be a cold night at six or seven as we start Saturday, but Saturday will be a chilly day. It will also be a windy day. Let's focus in on the winds because we do have a warning in force. As Hannah moves its way into the Irish Sea, the strongest winds on its southern flank into parts of Wales and southwest England. This graphic showing we're expecting the strongest gusts to be. Uh, gusts likely around coasts to be 60 to maybe 70 miles an hour. Inland, the gusts are more likely to be 45 to 55 miles an hour. Through the early hours across the west, but increasingly through the day, we'll see gusts of wind across large swathes of England and Wales reaching those values of 45 to 55 miles an hour. So we have a warning in force for the winds across the southern parts of the UK. As I said, 45 to 55 miles an hour inland, gusts around coast could reach 70 miles an hour. That's going to whip up some large waves. Those kind of gusts with the branches in leaf could cause some structural damage to trees and also likely to cause some travel disruption, particularly high-sided vehicles and especially for caravans, people traveling around this weekend. Just bear that in mind. We also have a yellow rain warning in force for Northern Ireland, where the heavy rain continues for much of the day. In many places, we'll see outbreaks of rain through the morning. A little bit dry, maybe across the far south, but it will be very blustery. And there'll be some dry conditions at times across parts of uh, northern Scotland, perhaps. But certainly the central swathe looking fairly wet and blustery throughout the day. Temperatures, uh, well, last weekend looking at mid-20s. This weekend it's going to be, well, 10 or 11 at best. And that rain likely to pep up, not just for Northern Ireland, but increasingly some heavy showers across Northern England and Southern Scotland through the afternoon and into the evening. As I mentioned, a much, much cooler feel compared to last weekend. 9 or 10 degrees. And on the wind, it will feel even colder than that. So pretty chilly if you're heading out on Saturday night. Still some heavy downpours to come over parts of southern Scotland and uh, northern England. The rain finally easing in Northern Ireland and the winds slowly easing down as well. Still quite a gusty night though down the eastern side and still a few showers here on Sunday mornings. So you know, it could just be one or two in the London area for the start of the London Marathon. And we'll continue just with the threat of a few showers across eastern Scotland, eastern England during the day on Sunday. Thickening cloud bringing more outbreaks of rain across parts of Wales, southwest England and Northern Ireland during Sunday as well. But for large chunks of the UK, uh, Sunday looks a lot drier and a lot brighter. And certainly most places will be a lot milder with temperatures up into the teens in a few spots where we see some sunshine. And of course the winds will be a lot lighter too. So Sunday overall, the drier and the brighter day of the two through the weekend. Make sure you keep up to date with the very latest weather warnings through the Met Office website, through our app or followers on social media.